Uh, it's okay. not like we said much important. No, it's fine. Mm. Right, now, yeah, we're we're now we should be properly recording. Apparently when I did my test I didn't stop the recording, so when I started the recording I stopped it originally. Oh, Oops. Well. <laughs> At least I checked, rather than you know, getting two hours into this and realising. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would, that would suck. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. So you guys are still in orbit around Salvador Prime, you've just arrived there with your little dinky ship full of um, like rescued slaves. Mm -hmm. And you pretty much decide yeah. you, you want to go into the arms business. There were several meetings over the phone, <coughs> and eventually it was what was selected. Yep. yep. That yep, was a pretty exactly close that. vote, by the way. Very close vote. Who doesn't want to be the Lord of War, anyway? Actually, between this session and the next session, I'm, 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 I'm re-watching that movie. Like, I haven't watched it in ages. Yeah, I'm going to end up doing that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> that would put us in the right move, uh, mindset. As long as we don't watch the drug scene halfway through, because that really wouldn't help. <laughs> well, we well, already uh, had a druggy drunk <laughs> captain. Good so. point. Good point. See, you can see, watch the drug scene. See, see, so I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm this more closely than you guys nice think. Nice <laughs> Well, we've still got a couple <laughs> of more brief feeds on your tears. Trust. We, 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 we still have a couple of crates of those communicators. Surprising no one. For, for whatever yeah. reason, we may or may not end up using them. Yep. Well, we could always sell those to the Worlds as well while we're, while we're there. We'll see. We'll see. Probably so end up holding those on comm to beads to the world Worlds won't hurt. Yeah. Alright, so what's your aim first up then? You mm. know you want to um, set up a, a factory. Um, so, are you going to try and find a world to settle first? Um, or are you going to try and get your. Actually, I've first? got a question. Yep. Since that uh, librarian we got was in a uh, in an explorator book. Yep. Or there, there are ten thousand year old records of pretty much quarter of the second. Yeah. So should we be able to fill in at least a small portion of it with just maybe unidentified planets? We don't know whether they're even still there. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to fill them in on the map, of course. Okay. But um, we'd th be able there to are literally hundreds of worlds on there. Yeah. The so we're not short them. of options. Not short of Certainly. options now. Not short of options at all. So we can find a planet that's right in the center of that. Yeah. Yep. So your real trick would be to actually use the Librarium to find a suitable world, because you know it's not very well catalogued. So there's literally thousands of entries, and you you're gonna have to like search through it. You know, to f you don't want it to turn up at a a little you know dead world because someone re miscatalogued it. So. Or accidentally un went yep. up in the under and under teeth by uh, yes. a, a bad feat of navigation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this world yeah, is perfect. This is the absolute perfect world. What's it called? Snagras. Snagras. Oh. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Let's just go there. I wonder. I wonder why they called this world Crack Skull. <laughs> what very vivid demonstration later. Well, we're leaving. <laughs> well, that's that's probably one very very, very vivid that. demonstration later, and we're all playing orcs. Wow. As I say, I have the weird boy. So one of you would have to be a weird boy. <laughs> well, Sebastian, if you're on a roll already, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta throw some Jamaican in there, from what I've heard, and just get, just like, oh, we we get to crush Max and left your trade and meeting with the chiefs, something like that. <laughs> we'd burn out, we'd burn out on the voices so fast. Oh, we would. Oh, yeah, God, would. <laughs> as long as you don't stretch your vocal, as long as you don't stretch your uh, vocal cords too much, uh, you'd be surprised what you can do. <laughs> yeah, but then when we're getting to combat, we have to shout everything. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, excellent. Aubrey, what do you do? Uh, okay, uh, another good move. Okay, Sebastian, you. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> no, no, Sebastian's the weird boy. He goes zap. Yeah. Yeah. And then get some, as I say, my new favorite table in any Rogue Trader book, um, Pearls of Dawag, um, yeah. which apparently has the squig squigs everywhere tape. Um, thing on it, which, you know, sorry, Best at some point you guys are going to meet a weird, weird boy just so I have the chance of rolling that. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care when, it's just going to happen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not for sure. Yes. I'll do what I can. <laughs> well, uh, and knowing our track record for ruining your um, little encounters. Well, yeah, avoiding the fights, yep. yes. Or avoiding, <laughs> yeah. 
He just, he just rolls the worst peril right away, just the head popper one, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> the with Edbang, though, is, is that Edbang might actually get us as well. So you might just have an orc nuke going off, maybe about 10 meters away from you is the problem. problem. Depends on what like fun. Problem? <laughs> I'm not quite sure where the problem is in that. No, no, problem <laughs> for us, not for the GM. Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd have a whale of a time. Because... <laughs> We know this. Oy. Okay, so plan A, you <coughs> want to search for, through the Liberium for a decent world. Are you looking for something that's fairly industrial? We're looking for something fairly livable. Yep. Yeah, so, if, we, yeah. if this is what we're setting, we probably ought to just focus on bias. I can English, bias for. <laughs> yeah, um, yep. you know, so Goldilocks just... zone, the whole shebang. Yeah. Yeah, if. I, I don't know if there will so be a be colony a... out this neck yep. of the woods. Somewhere, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, if there is one, that's nice. If no, that's also fine because we could just find a place between Zayeth, Zayeth, and Sheldon's Folly, and that would be an excellent location to base ourselves off of. Yep. Okay. So I'm just uh, double checking the. Um... <coughs> yep. That would be an inquiry skill. Check. That's all curious about. Okay. So yep. whoever's got a good score in that. Don't look at me. I got 46. Uh, you do I get your barbarian bonus, though. That's plus yeah. 10? Uh, yep. Okay, that's I thought. And the hover. Very true. Hovering, plus 20. You read them books. You read them books good. <laughs> Watch your reading. Watch your reading. Watch your reading. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> he's just poking he's and... He's just, he's, just, he's poking with the motivation stick. And reading over your As I have right. no uh, aquarium to tap on. <laughs> the best <laughs> kind of stick. <laughs> Read faster, minion. Right. <laughs> Alright, who's uh, making it? It's 46 plus 20, so 66. That first one, 25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I pick that one? Because it's, always, because it's the first one. Yeah, that's, 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 that's suspicious. Yeah, I clicked yeah. on it, nothing happened, so I clicked, so I double clicked, and then two things got thrown. So um. yeah, that that happens sometimes the first time you roll in the program. Yeah, Looks like it's it takes a little long. It's a little twitchy sometimes. All right, so that's a fairly good roll. Um, you can find. So there's no like notice of any like actual fraud worlds, but if you're just looking for something nice and inhab inhabitable. Um, that we can turn into a forge world. Yep, something with good mineral base. I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 <coughs> or like, say, a really big promethium deposit if we get lucky. Yep. So, I think you could probably find something around here. If that's a good place for you, near with the scales realm, but yeah, you know, quite close well, to other stuff. If it's right near Solace, actually, that'd be pretty convenient, so at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Yep. Uh, to use okay. the vernacular, that'd be pretty okay, tits. It's moving. Well, hey, <laughs> sorry. Yep, how's that for your positioning then? <clears throat> I wonder if we could take over Solace and Karma. Oh god, it's gonna crash into another planet! <laughs> no, save Solace, save Solace, nuke the place! <laughs> no, it's okay, it's heading up for Zayeth. <laughs> <laughs> we have you to quickly hire them. Bruce Willis and a team of ragtag oil drillers. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just going to save. Stop save. it! <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Actually, what is safe? We might be able to. Yeah, it's a war world. We could do without that, totally. No. Yeah. We're asking for <laughs> trading opportunities. Oh, we yeah, could settle point. that actually smashing the planet thing into a side of the other planet, you know, in order to, you know, curve favor with a certain faction, you know. Oh, like, hey, we weapon as an for you guys, you know. Oh, we could just blow the weapon apart, the planet apart above safe and sell it to the Imperial Army, uh, the Imperial Guard, as a set of asteroid stations. <laughs> Profit. Ah, <laughs> Practicality. Now, now maintaining the status quo is what we want. Maintaining the status quo that we want. Oh, come on. Blur was far better. Door. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry back of the class. Are we going back, back to Solace before we do the jump to the unknown world, then? Or are we going straight to this unknown world? In terms Let's of. say we should go to uh, Solace first, see if we can't buy some stuff. Yes, yeah, I'm sure you need some drugs. Aubrey is pleased. <laughs> and do some astrogation checks to make sure you know it hasn't moved 50 million miles away or 50 trillion light <coughs> away. Mm -hmm. 
It has. Are the you going to bring the um, the wrecked little scout shippy thing? Yeah, no, how are we gonna it's got people them? on it, so that's a probably a good thing to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just come and to think of it, we've got a ship full of slaves, and we've got a pleasure world, and it probably needs slave labor. No, I'd, say st I'd still say use them for our own uses. Uh, I mean, yeah. that's a one-time sale, whereas if we keep them, we've essentially got our first 9,000 workers. Point. Yeah, good point. But keep it at that, then. That Wait, is quite uh, good. Well, it, in yeah. order to keep high morale for the planet so it's less likely of a revolution, we could, uh, you know, over at Sol's Carmine, have, you know, small guided groups, you know. We have got yeah, all those soldiers. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's the big right. advantage. Okay, of the they'll take them out, people out in shifts, and they can come back. And sure. is, yep. I mean, on a, yeah. Honestly, we'll be treating them like you know. Even even if they're just rank workers, we probably are treating them much better than their uh, than their previous, previous employers. Yeah, so, <laughs> employers uh, in inverted commas. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. It's a feudal society. Employers and owners is exactly the same thing. Yeah, we're we're Point. positively you know progressive by that by comparison. Yeah. Yeah. So how many of them? How many of the slaves we got are actually Xenos? Uh, probably about twenty five percent. And, and what well, and mm, what kind? Uh, a total mix. Um, Any orcs get killed. <laughs> no, no, nothing, nothing dangerous. But there's, you know, there's a couple of Eldar in there. Um, some Crout. Uh, <laughs> that was an excellent. That was an excellent little exclamation there. That tells us all we need to know. <laughs> oh dear, Ooh. I think we know where those Eldar are going. <laughs> oh god. And it's not just ours in car. <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's yeah. several several races you've never encountered before, but obviously kind of quite low down base races. Although by the same token we're probably not taking the crew to Sars and Carmine either. Mm. Although they could actually augment the um bodyguard group. Depending yeah. on what kind of crew Crew are decent mercenaries. Yeah, exactly. So if, it depends. If we think they're worth in paying, we can shove them in, in the current uh, troop section we've got going, trying to see if we can get in, a bonus for. Yeah, in um, at least as far as I understand, in um, um, the Coronas Expanse, uh, certainly useful, useful um, Xenos like the crew that can actually be dealt with are. Uh, I mean, there's a whole there's a whole subsection on sanctioning Xenos. So. Oh yeah. As long as they're, as long as they're, and you know, the the crew are fairly trustworthy. And I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, we've got Eldar amongst the slaves, and that's something that we need to deal with. It's quite another to say, crew, which can probably be dealt with, as in, yeah, as you know, trust. I'm not using it as a euphemism for killed. I'm saying, you know, well, no, exactly. I mean, with crew, as long as you pay them well and let them feed on the bodies of their enemies, they're actually generally pretty loyal. Yeah. Granted, we would have to feed on the bodies of the enemies, which might be a morale issue, but we'll work with that when we come to it. I mean, I mean, honestly, right now, I don't think that the makeup of the slaves is hypercritical because once we get going on the planet, we can essentially uh, work out what needs to be worked out. Right now, they're all on one ship, so honestly, dealing with the twenty-five percent wouldn't be the easiest thing right now. Point. Uh, yeah. Waiting till we get to the planet and things are starting to set up, then we can decide, you know, what happens to the ones that are, you know, fall into this category, this category, this category. Yeah. Well, we can sell the Eldar and Solace and Carmine. Yeah, yeah. that would, pro that would probably be the easiest way to. Deal with it, yeah. Racial Wait. segregation and uh, and sorry. <laughs> Actually, no, I was going to say, why aren't we just killing the elder? Like, why would we want to sell them? Because there are kinky <clears throat> bastards on Solace and Carmine who probably want to do it via sex anyway. <laughs> I was I was just going to say practicality. Right now, they're all on one cramped little ship, and just going our way through it, purging isn't exactly the easiest thing. Yeah, that, and it also might actually um, harm well, the. Well, it wouldn't harm them, but it would scare the shit out of the remaining, um, however many. Well, let me put it this way. If we're trying to present a better image to the other 75%, let's get to the planet, separate the two groups, decide how we deal with the with the 25%, and just do it essentially off-screen to the 75 So the 25 to the 75 Just do it off, you know, you know, oh, you're all you know loyal members of the Imperium, and as thus, you shouldn't have to worry about what's being done with, with the Xenos and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we should probably we should probably just zap some zap some murder servitors down, let them do the job, zap them back up, send in a cleanup crew, and just you know if if we have to do it that way, I'm just saying that doing it on a tiny little rickety ship where you know things could kind of go a we bit have chaotic. The hell out the ship as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, uh, there's that. Yeah. I, I'm I'm just saying we need the ship right now for transport purposes. If we if we were a bit better off and had our own transport, then maybe 
we could deal with it right now, which is, by the way, something that we totally have to put on our to, to buy list. We need a dedicated transporter that we're not hiring, that we have control over. Yep, uh, that's one of the things I was going to say. You can yeah. have to find. This is going to be a bit more of a endeavor, this one. I mean, the last ones yeah. have all been very short. This one's going to take you a little while to get sorted. Yep, there's yeah, a bunch of stuff that we need to do. <clears throat> all right. So, onwards to so Solith and Kermine then? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm going to continue to use my little estimations uh, until I've actually read the Navis Primer. So I'm going to say that's about five days. Sweet. So. Yep. Uh, I'll be rolling for Grey and the other ship. Who is anyone else on the um, the um, slave ship? Sebastian was. Oh, I Sebastian am. Sebastian was. He's staying on there. Yep. yep. I'll stay with Grey. I would probably be on there too because I, you know, Xeno lore and whatnot, I would probably be looking into the species that I've never seen before, see if there's anyone, you know, we could use or anything I'd heard of. I'd just have to make a Xeno roll to see if there's, if I can, if I yeah, know I mean, or figure out who these other races are. Yep. I mean, cer certainly as it was pointed out earlier, Kroot, for example, are useful, so we probably want to hang on to those guys. Yeah. So do I get my uh, Librarian bonus for all my lore rolls? Um, not if you're going to be on that ship. Ah. <laughs> so only yeah. if you're on our ship. So if you go onto that ship, you won't have it, because you'll be doing it during the warp jump. Okay, so... Um, well, I can still do the check on on them while I'm on our ship, I guess, so... Yeah. Well, I was going to say, I can give you the plus ten, as I have um, <laughs> bidden knowledge Xeno as well. So I can just assist you. Yeah, okay. Um, so I get, so it's a 48 for my Xeno roll, so it'd be 68 with the hovering and the librarium. Uh, again, you won't have hovering because um, Ash isn't on the ship. Well, if ah. he's got on the librarium ship, then yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah that's like if I'm on the, li if I'm on the main ship. Oh, if you're on the main ship, know. yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Then I guess I'll do, be doing that then. Alright, I'll go ahead and roll for the Xeno stuff. Need to get a 68. Though to be fair, I would assume that we'd be able to... Well, okay, actually, I'm not going to assume anything. Go ahead, roll. Okay. Right. Yep, you're able to find... You've probably got about 100 crew on there. Um, nice. Nice. Um, some rat ghouls. Some what? Rat gruel, ghouls. Isn't that a rack? Star Wars thing? Uh, no, it's a kind of... Yeah, well, yes and no. They're kind of a... <laughs> Um, kind of like a half spider bite, like a spider um, centaur kind of creature. <coughs> very warlike, very aggressive. Um, oh. Which could again be useful, but I don't know. I mean, we know crew are relatively pliable. We don't know how pliable these guys are. Uh, basically, the best way of thinking of the rat ghoul is the Reavers from Serenity. Oh. <laughs> they basically well, drive, their, their ship airlock, are basically airlock. horrible, horrible um, radioactive messes. The only reason they stay alive is because they're like cockroaches and don't really deal have to deal with radiation that much. How, wait, wait, question. What the heck that, are those guys doing when they were slaves? Yeah, how the hell were these guys contained? Like, holy shit, fucking Serenity Reavers. And also, well, we could, are they still contained? The they're in very bad shape, and yes, they're fairly uh, um, contained. Good. Um, <laughs> Do not want them <clears> breaking out amongst 9,000. Of all the other races, there's, um, they're not completely psychotic, they're just a warlike race. That, like walking around and killing stuff. Uh, so, in other words, completely psychotic. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Excellent fit for 40k. Uh, would yeah. it be? It'd be more yeah. sociopathic, wouldn't it? Because I mean, as I said, like they don't feel, they don't kill like crazy. They just, you know, they're just more like, ah, you slight me, I stab you, you know, and that's how it seems anyway. Yeah. We we could drop them on Zath or Circum's Folly or Seddon's Folly when we get there. There's no point wasting perfectly good shock troops. No. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> uh, any other? Anything else? Um, I'd say quite a lot of um, kind of unknown races, kind of minor bipeds and stuff like that. And they all seem to be from mostly um, what you call uh, 
like sub sub technological worlds that are have been stolen. So they don't really know much about what's going on. Um, one useful thing to do here would be uh, let me see. Do I who has um who has a decently high knowledge Imperium? Because the if one thing that we could roll here is to determine exactly how likely each of these Xenos, with the exception of the Eldar, who there's somebody here who wants to vent them pretty badly, so we'll probably just do that. But at some point, but um, how close to sanction would they be within the Kronos expanse? Like the crew obviously are sanctioned from time to time. Yeah, none of these guys would be sanctioned. They're not even known. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to deal with them at some point as well. But again, I don't think that this is a hyper priority at this point, unless any of you guys want necessarily wants to argue for it. No, I mean, as I said, we're probably yeah. going to have a mysterious accident happen to the Eldar at this point, but yeah, the rest <laughs> of them we can deal with when we're on planet. Yeah. How many Eldar were there again? Uh, only two or three. No. Oh, wait. Oh, well, if it's only two or three, we might as well just... Send no. them to my chamber. <laughs> oh no, please, just sort of, uh, gentlemen, take a walk, just out that door there. Yeah, and uh, ignore the writing. Yeah, that's just Monkey. You, you don't need to understand it. Shh. <laughs> God, I love watching uh. Eldar you press. Um, that sort of thing. What kind of Eldar are they? Are they Exodite or? Yeah, uh, yeah, they'd be Exodite rather than the Craft World. Just put some poor sods of some old um, unknown world that's been picked up along the way. See, they're even Eldar hippies. I mean, really. <laughs> see, we're it's doing the universe a favor. I, I, I'm so conflicted because this is a bit like, uh, does anyone here follow the, the uh, King of Dragon Pass LP? This is kind of like that where I'm trying to put myself in the 40k mindset, but I keep getting pulled back to my, like, pinko, commie, ne you know, liberal, real-world persona. And I'm like, uh, this is so difficult to reconcile being essentially Judge Dredd in space. Vet them. Vet them. Yeah, three bodies shoot out the airlocks. <laughs> and not a Yay. single fuck is given. <laughs> yeah. It would have yeah, I can't really learn anything from them anyway. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll deal with the unsanctionables later as well, but for now, since that was yep. the sticking point, we, we, we've dealt with that sticking point. We'll be getting brownie points for introducing them into the Imperium. Like, I mean, like, like make, you know, getting them sanctioned, or, figure, or finding out their sanctioned capability. We could, but we also could get probably nobbled for having unsanctioned aliens on board. Fair enough. That's yeah, like, like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I mean, we didn't really go and pick them up. We just kind of came across them when we were dealing with slavers. This is the Imperium. Catch 22s of the order of the day. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I will again point out the fact that the, uh, from what I understand, the, uh, um, the Inquisition isn't quite as, uh... <clears throat> big out here. Yeah, big out here. This is this is like the frontier. Uh, so that's kind of one of the few things that we have going for us, and the reason why stuff like the cold trader uh, sanctions Xeno you know, have more here than they do like in Calix or whatever. So I mean, again, I think I would I would say that it's worth risking the time for us to sort out through them, but we'll do that when we get to the planet. I mean, really, uh, you know, if we were anywhere else, we'd probably want to sort it before making the jump. We're in the Coronas expanse, so fuck it. Let's not worry about it too much. All yeah. right, all right. Yep. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a rat goal. Oh, these things are awesome. Holy shit! Damn. We, just, we can't <laughs> blow that guy into space. Yeah, we, we have to find a way to work with these guys. Like, yeah, seriously, that's actually damn. That's one I mean, of my. Be that's one of the better aliens. I'd love to see the actual Games Workshop make a model of that. Yeah, like that. If they did, I'd buy it. That's got that's got model potential right there. Damn. <laughs> That's a toy, yeah. That's got army potential right there. That would be awesome. And they like fighting, so I don't know. We'll, we'll earmark this as a point of interest for our future Merc endeavors. Exactly. So there's a race of ultra warlike things that like fighting. There's no reason why we can't have two sanctioned Xenos races fighting for us, assuming that we can prove they're controllable and so on and so forth. I mean, the crew, that comes without saying. Uh, with these guys, eh, the work might be worth it. I'll do what I can with that. <laughs> See about, you know, talking to them, getting them integrated. That'll make some interesting logs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. So <laughs> imagine having to train these bloody things not to eat all the rest of the shock troopers. Oh, God. And smash and try to get them into the choir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, not, no, not we're not going to try anything. 
It's not to spoil yep. anything, but their ship types are the Butcher, the Mauler, the Claw, and the Mangler. Yes. Yes. <laughs> are those their names? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's the actual ship class names. Oh, okay. Cool. The Butcher, the butcher <laughs> is the transport. <laughs> <laughs> these guys, these guys clearly have their priorities straight. Yes. We have got to get those guys drop pods. <laughs> right. That's actually a good point. Okay, so as we've just got ourselves completely had a little bit of a xenobiology lesson there. Mm -hmm. You know it. Shall we actually make the jump? Yes. Yep. Yes. Do it. Okay, so I'm going to say it's five days <coughs> to jump. So, okay. first step location of the Astronomicon. If it's five days, we're, we're, we're getting the, the abacus bonus, right? Yeah. Hey, we can't see your rolls. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Grave has his first find the astronomic on roll, and nobody knows about it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're lucky this time. Yep. The I'll first one was 78. Them. I'll give you that one. Also, I remembered, oh, I remembered without having to go through the internet of what the the ca command was to reveal the die rolls. I'm actually learning. Yay! <coughs> so, right. so, here's just a very quick question about navigation. Yep. Um, since this is this is a proto fleet we've got here, I mean, obviously we'll eventually get like transports or whatever. Can the person in the lead vessel um, communicate information via like from the from the uh, what's it called from the abacus and stuff to so to give the bonus to the other ships following in fleet formation, or is that like how, how does fleet formation flying work? There are absolutely no or rules about fleet formation. So at the moment, I'm dealing each ship individually. Okay, fair. Ah. The, I say the Navis Prime might have rules for, um, but having only got it today, I don't know. Okay, yet. okay, fair enough. All right, yeah. So if yep. you're um, if six six here would like to or yep. have how you sin how you. <laughs> really. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! How many, how many bonuses do we have on top of that? Like, what's what's Sinxia's, uh, uh, nav? Um, what is my nav? Hang on, I've got my screen filled with aliens. <laughs> 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 Who are now apparently wearing hot top hats and having mustache. <laughs> <laughs> That's awareness. Do top. this. Do this. I have a, I have a base forty-five on awareness. Okay, that's forty-five. <laughs> wait, wait that's if that. if float bonuses were being given. Wait, wait. She's on the main ship, so that's oh. forty-five plus the plus the uh, abacus. That's fifty-five plus the hover. That's sixty-five. Yep. So, plus oh. ten f for being an ordinary awareness test. So made it. Just. Made it. Ah. <laughs> that's great. Just made it. Yeah. That's that's that's, that's, that's good what, enough. So it's a navigation what, warp test. Yeah, it's what things you bring to the table with, above Which is and beyond. ordinary. Double grace power, at least. <laughs> well, yes! On that one. Okay. Nice. So you um, have got... You've passed, so you get a nice plus 20. So now we're on to steering the vessel. Nice easy one. <laughs> a plus 10 here. Yep. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> um, Grey, on the other hand, doesn't. Uh, and therefore fails by uh, <coughs> two degrees of failure. Grey! Hey, we're not the ones on the ship. <laughs> I was going to say, it was just <laughs> the shout of Grey from the bowels of the ship. <laughs> As even the machine spirit itself is beginning to get tired of his horseshit. He <laughs> echoes out into the warp. Grey! <laughs> Somewhere a colour changed demon of Zinch looks very confused. <laughs> Alright, see. So Six here. Uh, Sin has what's that? Is that a pass? Just. I uh, yep, forty-two, and I've got a plus ten. So. Yep. Just a pass. Just a pass. So you you make it in the normal amount of time, five days. It's going to be a bit longer before the other ship arrives. <laughs> yeah, just time. time to play with the choir. <laughs> gives us more time to like <coughs> get supplies and stuff. Gives me more time to recover from the Billy Schnozbrod. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, is the reason why I wasn't here last week, clearly. <laughs> yes, we read that log. That was awesome. Yeah, we could try fermenting them and making some sort of, you know... Uh, what's very snaps. Do that and I beat you to death with an Amasek bottle. <laughs> like... An empty one. I don't know how, but I'd do it. <laughs> like, 
it's like the Scottish hardcore version of Four Loco Buckfast, which is like super fortified wine. It's like Amasek and uh, Recaf, all in one tasty bottle. I can literally <clears throat> feel my insides dying at the <laughs> anticipation. 